there and welcome to another treehouse tutorial this one's for year five six and it's within the english curriculum and it's all about expanded noun phrases now to help us to think about this and get a little picture in our mind straight away i've got possibly the most annoying toy that has ever entered my household i'm going to show you why in a second oh, still going on whoever thought of a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle that uh, had stretchy arms and made that kind of sound. I have no idea. The point is that I'm trying to show you that today we're looking at expanding and stretching out our nouns into expanded noun phrases. We'll just stretch them out one more time. Oh, I'll get rid of that now. Okay, so stretching out those nouns so that we've not just got a single word as a noun, but we're actually including all sorts of extra information so that we've got expanded noun phrases. You'll see why this is important as we go on. So we're going to do this through an image that's going to come up on your screen now. And now this is a beautiful image. Um, I hope you'll agree with me. And I want us to be describing um, this image in a particular way today. So just going to give you a little bit of time to take that image in and just start to have a look at what you can see in it. Okay, so all sorts we could focus on in that lovely image there. I've decided to focus on the C here. C being a noun. Okay, remember today's session here is all about expanded noun phrases. So we start with just a noun, a single word. We're going to expand it out. We're going to expand it out in a very, very simple way initially. But I just want to throw some terminology at you, some vocabulary at you. So for example, even just turning this into the C, right? we have included here a determiner. Okay, so we've got a determiner, then a noun. That creates a noun phrase. Okay, so the C is a noun phrase immediately. We're going to look to expand this out better than this though, and further than this. I'm now going to set you a little challenge. Um, if we were to say, I'm looking for a couple of words that could go into there. I'm looking for you to expand this with some adjectives. Okay. Again, this is revision, okay, so it should be straightforward enough, but try and be as ambitious as you can with your vocabulary choices. If you've got a thesaurus to hand, even better. Let's look back at the image and consider some adjectives that could further expand and stretch this noun phrase a bit like our turtle's arms that we did earlier. Have a go. Okay, what did you come up with? Um, these are the couple that I've got here. Um, I liked the fact that on that image, it just seems like the water is so clear and clean. Um, not always used to that when I go and dip in the North Sea, to be honest, but pristine there, um, really referring to that cleanliness there. And also tranquil, it just looks, oops, it looks so calm. It looks so calm there and so peaceful. So p pristine and tranquil sea. There we go. Remember here, we have now got more than just a noun. We've got a noun phrase, but we've really expanded it out. And, it, and we should be starting to think ahead. Like if we were doing a piece of descriptive writing or a piece of persuasive writing, this is so much better straight away, so much better straight away than just describing it as sea or the sea, the, p the pristine, tranquil sea. All right, we've got a good expanded noun phrase so far. I just want to show you one further way that you can expand it even further. OK, so along here at the end now, we can look to add a prepositional phrase. OK, now prepositional phrase centers around a preposition. OK, and a preposition will often tell you about position because you've got that word within within preposition. And um, so I want you to think about what you can see around the sea and potentially come up with a prepositional phrase for that. That might be trickier if that's something that's newer to you, um, but give it a go now, and then I'll show you what I've kind of come out with afterwards. Off you go. Okay, so this time I give you the slightly tougher challenge of adding a prepositional phrase to expand the noun phrase further. Um, and you can see that I went for this beneath a cloud filled sky. Now, what's interesting to note about this is a few things. So first of all, within this prepositional phrase, 
we've actually got a number of these things. So in theory, we could have been color coding these as we went as well in saying that there's another determiner here, which is ah, um, beneath itself is the actual preposition, right? Um, cloud filled, we've then got as um, our adjective here, good use of a hyphenated word there to vary our punctuation there. Um, and then sky, is essentially another noun within that prepositional phrase. But what is crucial here, as we look at all of these elements together, all of this together, and excuse my squiggly line, but all of this together creates one big noun phrase. Okay, all of it together. Um, Remember, that's just a phrase though. So you might have noticed that I didn't put a capital letter at the start there. We do not have a complete sentence here. And I've seen lots of times before when um, people have assumed that we've got a sentence here and then we can stop. But actually we don't. We've just got an extremely long noun phrase. So if you want a sentence, think about what we need in a sentence, remember. We always need to have a subject. In this case, we've got it here. It's essentially the C. And a verb. Okay, so if you want to create a full sentence, have a little think now of one verb that you could put at the end there that would refer to the C here. Have a think. Okay, so hopefully you've thought of a, a verb that you could put on at the end of that expanded noun phrase to create an actual sentence. I've gone for glistened there. You could have gone for all sorts of different things. You could have included an adverb, for example, as well, to extend the sentence even further. But just remember from this, that this part here that's got the squiggly underline, that is an expanded noun phrase. Okay, it's not a sentence in itself, it's not a clause in itself, because it doesn't contain a verb, but it's an expanded noun phrase. They are brilliant for improving, as I've said, your descriptive work, your persuasive work, and all round your work. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Go away, give it a go. Keep this annoying guy in your head when you're thinking about stretching and expanding. Those noun phrases, he's still going. See you later.